Yeah, it's, it's awful. In fact, that's the world's largest building, Boeing's giant factory here in Everett. And you can barely make out where the other end of it is. It is so dense. But now we're going to show you some pictures of what's really ugly. You know that great view you get of downtown while driving south on I-5 over the Ship Canal Bridge? Try finding it now. And no matter where you go, it seems you just can't see much of anything. This monitoring station near East Marginal Way in Seattle is designed to sniff out just about everything in the air. And inside, this tape shows what you're breathing. Every hour, the tape shifts. Each dot is one hour. And actually, during that one hour, you only sample for like about 50 minutes. Now compare that to the tape that's normal, even for this part of industrial Seattle. It's actually pretty clean. Clem Miege is an air monitoring specialist who maintains this equipment. Another sampler puts all that soot into a small cup. And they start, you know, by being clean and white at first. It was clean and yeah, white. Yeah, it was okay. clean and white at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, yeah, no, it's, yeah, crazy. This is just how it looks like after sampling 24 hours of, uh, of air filled with smoke. I've never seen anything that dark before probably have, you know, 6,000 feet of wildfire smoke above us that has to clear out in, in one fashion or another, and it's, it's going to take a while. Eric Sanich is a forecaster for the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency. So are we having more of a smog problem as much as just a smoke problem? Yeah, what's been really interesting is the wildfire smoke is so dense, it's actually changing the weather. It's creating its own weather. And so it's actually been really challenging to forecast the agency has monitors all over King Pierce and Homish in Kitsap County, and the map tells the story. Hazardous and downright dangerous air threatening our health. It is just incredible to be able to look at what those samples are producing. Now, he says because this is so thick, that's one of the reasons it is so cool down here. It's a lot warmer up there as what we were hearing earlier from our weather staff. And the rain, we saw a little bit of it today, did not make an impact. Live in Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, thank you. You can track the air quality from, and the smoke from your phone. Just download thank our you. King 5 Capcom. app on your smartphone.